I wish I had one on stage. I don't know if we have one on stage. Mm. Um, it's for sale in the, uh, in the store for $20. And all $20 will go towards uh, relief efforts in Japan. So I'd encourage you sometime today, tomorrow, to pick up the shirt. Uh, the plan is right in Japan. You want to make a difference for our Japanese visitors and open me in Japan. And now, Sergio, why don't you just give us, just share with the audience a little bit of what's on your heart today and give them an update on the more project down in Brazil. Yes. Hello, family. So, wonderful to be here. Thank you so much for your love, support, and care. I have a few minutes, but when we start this convention this morning, I was in shock watching the video with Henry. And uh, if you're here in the beginning of the convention, the master told him that the secret is one rock, a little stone. And giving him the stone and said, with this stone you can do everything. Everything's possible. You know, I was sitting there and thinking, I know this stone. He has a name. He's Jesus. With him, everything is possible. Everything is possible. You can imagine and you, can, and you achieve. And more than that, he put you in the position that you go beyond your imagination. Beyond, beyond, beyond. Much more than you imagine, much more than you can imagine. He gave you. Be here today, it's a miracle. It is a miracle. It's a big miracle for me to be here today. It's just because I have the rock, he lives in me, and I live for him. Amen. Just this. And I have to tell you that. 
No God, it's not about Sergio's Ponce heart or Sergio Ponce's vision. Being honest with you guys, I'm just that donkey. Yes, I care something very special with him. And all the applause, all your excitement is not for me, it's for him. I will not be the stupid donkey that think that people are clapping hands for him when he came inside the Jerusalem. It's about Jesus. More broad, it's all about him. It's all about love. It's all about give to that kids and that family much more meaningful life. And I'm so glad because we have Donna, we have Randy, Henry, these guys here in our back, all our amazing More Project USA staff, Katie, all the girls, everybody. You know, we have one amazing team doing amazing things in Brazil. Okay, we are struggling a lot there, we have some challenge, we need to change, sometimes, you know, life change, you know, sometimes you have to deal with some difficult, we are living that moment now there in Brazil, that's the truth, but I'm so excited, so excited, when I came to the ruby flying in there, and I felt the spirit in the ruby flying, Jesus Christ, isn't, I was, wow! We are here, you know. He is here. I can feel his presence, his hands. So, if you have his presence, if you have his hands, we have everything. We have opportunity, we have talent, we have the gifts, we have, you know, grace and favor. And he will show us how to do it, teach us how to do it. And I can tell you, that my friends, brothers and sisters, with him, you can do crazy things. <laughs> Last Woo! week, I spent some days inside the dangerous favela there in Brazil. Very dangerous. And uh, I'm praying, God, I want to see the world through your eyes. I'm tired to see the world with my own natural eyes because, you know, I, I'm living in a very difficult place, guys. You have to understand that. All what my natural eyes see, it's horrible. It's kid that doesn't have father, families, nothing, no opportunity, just abuse, 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 abuse. So I'm tired to see the world with my own eyes. And I ask God, please give me your eyes. Give me your eyes. That's my prayer. And last week, something amazing happened in my life. I was there in the middle of the crazy, crazy, crazy situation. It was at 2 o'clock p.m. 2 o'clock p.m. And I came inside this place. And the drug lords were there, cocaine, crack, marijuana, everything, bags and bags and bags, and a big bag with money, a lot of money, and guns everywhere, you know, AK-47, you know, gun machines, and a lot of guys, and guys sitting just put the bullets together and give for the others, a big suitcase with a lot of pistols, and this little boy, 16 years old, 14 years old, just take the pistol and put it here and walk around like this. And I was there walking, and praying, 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 and then I started to pray with that guy. I came inside the, the, the big guy, the Lord, said, hey, I want to pray with you and for you. You, what do you think? It's okay? He take the AK-47, for the ground, and he had two grenades here at the belt. I close the eyes, I put my hand, and I pray. And I can tell you, in that moment, I didn't see a dangerous guy, a murderer. I didn't see a, a, a evil man like he is in the natural eye. You know what I saw? I just saw a man desperate to encounter his Savior. The one that can change his life forever. I just see a child, desperate, looking for a father. And I start to cry, and I hug him, and I told him, man, God can change your life. God can change your life. So guys, more project. But I'm not here to preach. But I have to tell you that. Thank
brother. We have many kids who have Flavio. Patrice, no Flavio, Brick, Lita. We have the little Flavio. Flavio was online, working, you know, selling drugs with 12 years old. He doesn't have a father. His father was murdered because he was a big drug dealer inside the favela. But Flavio never had one reference in his life. And now we have Flavio. Look in my eyes and say, Uncle Sergio, they call me Uncle Sergio. Uncle Sergio, I wanna be like you. I wanna help people. I mean, if you do this, you need Jesus. And we start to talk to him about Jesus. Last Sunday, we baptized 18 teenagers from the most high. And he, he came to me and said, I want Jesus. I want Jesus in my life because I want to make a difference in this world. Guys, I love Monavie. I love Donna, Henry, Randy, all the guys, all the distributors. Brig, thank you so much, my goodness. It's one, Todd. And I can tell you, we are changing lives in Brazil. We just started. Just started. We go much, much, much more forward. I imagine we stop this circle. I, I, my imagination, it's the vision that God gave me. He, through us, will broke the circle, the violence, and destruction and all the crazy evil things that are running Brazil. And we are doing this together for his glory, only for his glory. Thank you so much. We love you. We love you. I have to let you know that the right people have been sent to this company at the right time, every time. And uh, back in 2004, as we were starting the company, I was introduced to Sergio through Brig and Doug Rowland, and he was in Brazil. I didn't know that the week earlier, he was on his knees saying, God, these are your children in these novellas. I can only do so much. Send me, send me some people to partner with. And in short order, we were on the phone with Sergio, and as Carrie and I talked to Sergio, yeah, I got goosebumps, and that's kind of how I make a lot of my decisions in life. It's like, wow, this is what we're supposed to do. And um, we got on our knees and made some commitments. And Sergio has been true and faithful. So grateful that we have someone who's willing to live, and if necessary, die for a cause, because he understands that life is eternal. And that we're here for but a short moment, and it's about the influence that we have while we're here in that dash birth date and the death date and that dash in between. I'm grateful that Sergio is still in the dash, making a difference on a daily basis for Flavio and so many other kids. Now numbering in the thousands of children that we're blessing with, with education and, and food and shelter on a daily basis, thanks to this Monaby family that's growing around the world. And whether I'm in Salt Lake City, whether I'm in Japan, whether I'm in Mexico or Brazil, when we ask more of the Monaby family, to give and make a difference. Wherever we've been around the world, crowds have come up one at a time, laying money on a, on a stage like this, where 100% of the donations go straight to the cause, and the company pays all the administrative fees. And so as we end this morning session, we're gonna end it like we always do. Maybe a little bit different this time, because Mindy Gladhill is on a stage over here. I'm gonna ask her to sing that song one more time as we look at this time at images of Japan as well as images in Brazil. And I invite you as you leave for lunch, if you feel so inclined, whether it's a dollar, whether it's five dollars, whether it's a penny, it's the widow's might.
it will be multitude. I, it will be it will be multiplied. I promise you. And today you can be the uh, the source of doing much good and move from success to significance at this very moment as we end this morning session by raising some funds for the kids that live in those favelas to help them take the guns and the grenades off of their belts and realize that there's more purpose and more value in life than to take the life of others, but instead to find their own in the process. That's what Monty's about. <laughs>